The following marketing information and discussion is provided for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as professional guidance or consultancy. You should find an agency for that. Comexis is a digital marketing agency, so feel free to hire us. But otherwise, just enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Buyer's Journey by Comexis, a discussion-based podcast on the ever-changing marketing landscape. I'm Matthew McGordy, the social media content producer here at Comexis. And I'm Josh Lyons, the digital marketing coordinator here at Comexis. Len is out today, so me and Josh are holding down the fort with this great podcast stuff. Uh, as I've mentioned before, we're not going to be strictly adhering uh, to the normal flow that we have. For example, today's Friday. Normally, we would talk about the advocacy stage. And to be fair... What we are talking about kind of relates to the advocacy stage because we're talking about influencer marketing. Um, But this is actually more of a sort of a heads up um, for those of you who are using influencers, those of you who are influencers. Um, Zach Whitaker on TechCrunch broke the news um, at the time of recording earlier today um, that there's a massive database uh, containing contact information for millions of Instagram influencers, celebrities, and brand accounts that was found online. And the database, which was hosted by Amazon Web Services, was left exposed and without a password, allowing anyone to look inside. And at the time of writing, the database had over 49 million records and was growing by the hour. (laughs) So... Each record contained public information scraped from influencer Instagram accounts, including their bio, profile picture, the number of followers they have, if they're verified, their location by city and and country, but also contained their private contact information, such as the Instagram account owner's email address and phone number that they used to sign up with. Security researcher uh, Anarang... Security researcher... Security researcher Anurag Sen discovered the database and alerted TechCrunch in an effort to find the owner and get the database secured. TechCrunch often will take these um, take these reports from different researchers and things like that and research them themselves in the sense of uh, like investigate what the problem is. Obviously, the people who are doing research are researchers right anyway point is they they look into these things so TechCrunch was able to trace the database back to Mumbai based social media marketing firm Chatterbox which pays influencers to post sponsored content on their accounts each record in the database contained a record that calculated the worth of each account based off the number of followers engagement reach likes and shares they had what an interesting algorithm Uh, this was used as a metric to determine how much the company would pay an Instagram celebrity influencer to post an ad and TechCrunch found several high-profile influencers in the exposed database, including prominent food bloggers, celebrities, and other social media influencers. Um, something important to mention about this is um, TechCrunch alerted uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, obviously, Facebook owns an Instagram, and they are looking into how this information was gathered by Chatterbox to begin with. The reason being that TechCrunch talked to some of the influencers on this list to confirm their phone number and their contact information um, for that account. And some of them had never worked with Chatterbox. So the question is, how did they get that information? Was it through like a business email signature, et cetera, et cetera? Um, so again, and, and Facebook obviously is not sure how they got that information. So they're, they're looking into that. Um, but definitely a big, a big yikes for me. What do you think, Josh? Yeah, you call it a big yikes, but my mother and grandmother would call it big oy vey. Oy vey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Because, uh, yeah, that is, um, it's a lot of records yeah. just out there and about for everyone. And and the public stuff isn't that big of a deal, like with the, the bio profile picture, number of followers. Yeah, that's, you know, you can find that stuff pretty easily. Right, but the private information being the email address and phone number is a huge red flag. Yeah, that's, like, there's so many, I mean, let's not even get started with, with like, actual big-time celebrities. Let's just, like, narrow down to internet influencers. Yeah, like, 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 a, like, a, like a local Philadelphia food blogger. Yeah, like... It is bad that they effectively got doxxed through the... I mean, it's not, it's not doxxing because it's not somebody looking for the information. 
But the fact that their private information and their phone numbers and things like that um, leaked is really bad. Like I know, um, for example, Ninja. Um, I remember, this was back when I used to watch Ninja's uh, Twitch streams. You know, Ninja moved to a new house and people oh. and people were requesting that he do a house walkthrough. Now the requests were well intentioned. They just they were interested in seeing his new place. But his point of not wanting to do it was, well, if I do that and somebody is able to tell like the architecture or whatever, they could try and find like that house in particular based off of that, and therefore find his address. Right. And then and then therefore could dox him. Right. Um, for those of you who don't know, doxing is basically when people on the internet find the private information, address, name, phone number normally of somebody and post it online um, for a variety of reasons. Um, but it's bad, basically. Yeah. People trying to keep information that they want private to be private. Of course. And people are finding it and posting it, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, really bad. Um, normally we don't, we don't, you know, we don't talk about data, bre- data breaches unless they're like data breaches that originate from like Facebook. Google, right. Instagram, right? But I just, because of the the amount of records here, I, I thought it was of note. Yeah, 49 million, and it was growing by yeah. the hour. It's not like, it wasn't like over the course of X amount of months, they gathered 20 million records. Oh no, it's it just came out, there's 49 million. It's still going, it's still going. it won't stop. Well, I'm sure it's just, I'm sure part of it is bots literally scraping the data, yeah. but I'm interested in how they're scraping it to get that contact information. Right. Um, I'm really interested to see if this is another, I, I have no evidence of this, mm-hmm. but it sounds to me like it could be a malicious use of a Facebook API or an Instagram API or something like that. I of course have no no um, no evidence of that. So it could just be they're finding it through other means or they bought data from somewhere else or something like right, that. Right. I'm not sure. But it's it's also bad that a server was just completely left right. exposed and without but it's, a password. It's just, so, it's just so many people like who who says it's not you or me. Like it could be. Well we're not social media influencers. I don't think they care about us. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well you're a social media influencer. Yeah. I shouldn't well yeah, yeah. I mean on Twitter. Yeah. But Tasha's an up and coming social media influencer and I'm gonna put your your Twitter no, thank you. tag yeah, in the but blog like post. but it's I think it's different though because i I don't monetize my personal self. That's true. I'll give you that. I would like to monetize my personal self, but yeah, I don't I mean, currently. So <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean it's just a lot of people. So no, I mean it's, it's it's an incredibly large amount of records and if you're an Instagram influencer you know, I at the moment there's no there's no way to tell if you're in this database yet. If there is, I'll make sure to put that in the blog post. I'm sure I, the link to the TechCrunch article will also be there. I'm sure TechCrunch is going to keep an eye on this and yeah. see um, to find out if you're in there. So if you're an influencer, if you've worked with influencers, might be a good idea to give them a heads up, et cetera, et cetera. So, well, that's all for today's episode of The Buyer's Journey. Check us out on Comexus.com, YouTube, anywhere you get your podcasts. And please follow us on Twitter at Buyer's underscore Journey. And, of course, have a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. Thanks for listening.